contractors, we have very little, if any, control over the kinds of jobs we get. Um, but one of the many benefits of being able to be on a sitcom for seven years, like Boy Meets World, is that uh, when it's over, you feel like you have this new sort of freedom. You know, you have a little bit of money in the bank, and you start thinking, maybe I don't have to go on every single audition that comes my way. You know, maybe, just maybe, I'm too good for some shit. <laughs> so... I finished Boy Meets World and I called my agent and I said, okay, here's the deal. I only, I, I'm willing to go on everything except I don't want to read for parts in horror movies or in soap operas. So after several years of being too good for some stuff and not once working, I decided that maybe I wasn't too good for anything and called my agent again and said, okay, let's, let's broaden the horizons a little bit. So wouldn't you know it, a week later, I get a phone call from my agent. Danielle, great news. Next week, we have two auditions for you in the same day. The first is for a horror movie called Cabin Fever. I say, okay. The second is for a soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful. Okay, so I muster some phony enthusiasm and say, great. So I print off the sides and I start looking over the scenes. And I'm pleasantly surprised by this cabin fever scene. I don't have to do any ridiculous screaming. I don't have to die a horrible death. I don't have any long, boring monologues. Why on earth did they pick this scene? So the scene is about three pages long, and the last three quarters of it are stage directions, which for any of you who aren't actors, the stage directions are things that tell the reader what's going on in between the dialogue. Typically things like, Julie puts her glass of water down and turns toward the door. Michael enters. <laughs> Nothing serious. So I skip over that, scan it real quickly, and get to memorizing my lines. So Wednesday, the day of my auditions arrive. I get to my cabin fever audition five minutes early, I walk into the waiting room, and they call me into the room. Well, immediately after I walk into the room, I realize this is a producer's callback. I wasn't told that. There are five people in, a room, in the room, and the camera's turned on. So um, they say, okay, go ahead and begin anytime you're ready. I start my scene, it goes very well, and I finish my last line of dialogue, I say thank you, feeling pretty good about myself, I turn around and I start to walk towards the door. And I hear, oh, uh, Danielle, excuse us, sorry, um, we, we need you to finish the scene. And I go, oh, I start thinking, I have the wrong sides, I have the wrong scene, somebody messed up, not me. Uh, and I say, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, think I, I think I may have the wrong sides. My, my sides end after that last line of dialogue that I just said. They go, oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's the end of the dialogue. Um, but we need you to do the, uh, the stage directions. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Didn't read those, really, just kind of scanned. So I say, oh, okay, no problem. Can you, can you just give me a minute? And I turn around and I start reading. And suddenly I see words that um, are popping out at me that I never noticed before. Things like um, porta potty and peeing, wiping, screaming, and vagina shredding. I think, what on earth? I turn around and I say, I'm sorry, um, so you want me to uh, mime uh, going potty in a porta potty? You want me to do that for you right now? Yeah, yeah, we do. And the casting director says to me, I mean, why'd you think we chose this scene? Hmm, good point, Dick. All right, got it, got it. So, at this point, I literally, I could give two shits if I get this part. I mean, I don't even care at this point. I just want to get through this and get out of here with as much dignity as I possibly can. So um, here's a general rendition of what I did. run out of a door so fast in my life. Bolted. 
Uh, instantly, I'm starting to question my career decisions, and um, I'm trying to decide if I want to go to the Bold and the Beautiful audition, or if I just want to march my little ass right across the street to Marie Calendar's and apply for a job. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Danielle Fischel, and that was my worst audition ever.